Hey, today we are going to discuss that uh, when we do the pap smear and that pap smear shows atypical glandular cell, then what we have to do? Okay, this um, topic is basically very important uh, because uh, different exam questions come related to this topic. Like in previous FCPS um, uh, part 2 exam that was in on 25th of August, uh, a question came that pap smear shows glandular cells. What to do? Okay, so we have different uh, option like um, colposcopy, endometrial curettage. That was one option. Second option was colposcopy and do cervical curettage and endometrial sampling. Third option was colposcopy um, and hysteroscopy. And the last option was uh, reassure. So. Uh, it would be better if we try to understand this topic in a little bit more detail. Okay, so the first thing that is very important to understand is what does atypical glandular cells mean? Um, I would like to say that the results of atypical glandular cells mean that abnormal looking cells were seen on pap smear test. Okay, and this result is preliminary and not a final diagnosis. The, the abnormal cells may have come from the tissue lining the inside of endometrium or the cervix and conditions associated with this results include okay, the conditions include cancers, infection, inflammation, pregnancy or previous radiations. Now, a very important question. Is it normal to see glandular cells on pap? test okay that is very important to understand um, the answer is a normal pap test will show mostly squamous cells okay although it is normal to find small group of glandular cells from endocervix and some pap test will have will also show small group of glandular cells from endometrium. This is considered normal in the younger woman. However, seeing endometrial cells on pap test from postmenopausal women is considered abnormal for these women and endometrial biopsy is recommended to investigate the source of cells. Okay, so first thing that we have learned is that we have to do endometrial biopsy. So, what to do next when we find atypical glandular cells on pap smear? Okay, different tests are offered. The first is that of colposcopy. It is very important to do colposcopic examination. Colposcopy is basically done to see the entire outer surface of the cervix. If needed, take a biopsy to look for the precancerous and cancerous changes. The second step we would like to take is that of endocervical curating. Okay, not only colposcopy to see the en entire surface, but also do endocervical curating. The sample is then examined under microscope by pathologist and the main purpose of this procedure is to show the presence of any abnormalities within the cervical canal. Okay, the next step would that be endometrial biopsy. This procedure is performed to obtain a small tissue samples from the lining of the uterus called endometrium. And the main purpose of this procedure is to show the presence of any abnormalities within the uterus. Ultrasound is also very important. This procedure may be performed to look for abnormalities within either uterus or cervix. The ultrasound may be useful in detecting and increased thickening of endometrium um, and on the presence of the masses within the endometrial and endocervical cavity and in the pelvis. Now coming to the exam questions which was asked before that pap smear shows glandular cells. Okay, uh, what to do? Okay, so we have different options like colposcopy, endometrial curettage. Second was uh, colposcopy, endo, cervical curettage, and endometrial biopsy. Third, colposcopy and hysteroscopy, and fourth, reassure. Among all these options, B seems to be the most correct one because in that we can cover all the areas. Okay, so 
the answer of this question is B. Okay, thank you so much. That is the end of this video. And I, I would like you to study the NHS guideline for cervical screening. Okay, thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.